Hey Gold Medal family, welcome to today's video. Today's video we're gonna be focusing on the fast kick. Now, not just your normal fast kick. For the lower belt levels, yes, you're gonna go over the fast kick, then we're gonna get into the fast double kick, and then the side kick back kick, which is a form of a fast kick back kick for the intermediate and then higher belt levels. And then we're gonna put a combination together uh, with the fast double kick and your side kick back kick and you'll see how we do that. So I hope you did your jump rope warm-ups and did some stretching beforehand. Uh, some of the, now we only did jump rope warm-up today as you read in the email, because some of the other warm-ups that we're gonna use um, are gonna pertain to helping you warm up and develop the muscle memory for executing the fast kick or the skipping style motion of a fast kick, particularly for the fast double kick. Okay, now I only have rings. You don't have to have any rings or anything today, but I only have rings to show you when you're gonna practice and do the drills, how you want your stances and your feet to separate properly and when you're executing the skipping motions. Okay, so let's get into the video. Today we're gonna be focusing on your speed stance for these um, fast kicks and skipping kicks here. This is about the distance of a speed stance that's gonna be there. Let me bring this back a little bit just to make sure I'm still on camera for you guys. About the distance for your speed stance here. So you can think of a small, medium, and large stance, right? Medium because medium's part powerful, part speed, part narrow, right? Uh, that's your, your medium stance here. So when you do your skip motions, that's about all the distance that you want to try to cover. 10 sets, I'm sorry, not 10 sets, 10 reps of just, and one, two sets, you're gonna do one on each side, of just your knee pitch skip and trying to cover the same amount of distance from where you start. Boom, back in the same spot. Huh. 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 Okay, so you're gonna do a drill of that, 10 on each leg, both sides. And again, I'm only using the rings. If you have rings or if you have something that you wanna use at home to put down to help you really develop the, the exact muscle memory so that you can, kinda, that you can kinda get your technique very, very, very precise for you, go ahead, you don't need anything. You can do it just um, on the floor trying to feel, which would be actually a little bit better because uh, when you execute a kick like this, or if I'm gonna use it in sparring or a board break or something like that, you're not gonna have rings on the floor to make sure your footwork is gonna be precise. You have to use your own habit and your own feeling. But for starting, hop, down, hop, two, set, net, dasa, all the way up to 10. <clears throat> and just keep doing that. Two sets, one on right leg, one on the left leg. Okay, so that was the drill for the fast kick which I recommend everybody do anyway because just practicing the skipping knee pitch is very good for keeping the mechanics nice and clean and sharp if you already know fast kick and if you're pretty good at it. So the next one that we're gonna do here is gonna be towards the fast double kick. Now we're not doing any kicking yet, we're just working on the mechanics, the first uh, foundational techniques of the kick. So fast double kick, I got three rings here because a fast double kick is a fast kick position, a fast kick initi, uh, initial start, initi, I was gonna say initial movement. You initiate it with the fast kick, skip, knee pitch movement. Then you're gonna jump and switch the legs over for the double kick. So watch here, which most of you guys know. And we're doing this one also for anybody that is no uh, learning greenfield form and up because you, you do this kick at the end of that form. Um, which we all could use some good practice on. So I'm gonna skip forward, knee pitch, and then jump and switch. I'm trying to do this slow for you guys without crashing in the wall. <laughs> jump and switch and land on my other leg. Let me move this back a little bit. Hopefully you guys can still see me on the camera. <clears throat> so I'm starting in here. One, two. Now you notice all I'm doing is knee pitching and turning my body. That's all I want you guys to do right now. And this is gonna be, this is a drill, a warm up drill, or any, any of you guys can do this one here. Uh, even if your yellow belts are orange belts and below. 
So from here, one, two. Set it up again, one, two. I'll do it a little quicker. And one, two. Now you might have noticed on that one there, I didn't really do a hard, heavy knee pitch on the first skip. Once you get a good movement and a flow of a fast double kick, you can use that first knee pitch, that first skipping knee pitch, several different ways. Kind of like a check, uh, actual kick, more of a jam up with somebody. So it really depends on what you're gonna need for the situation. So it's very, very flexible and you can use it in a lot of different uh, scenarios. Okay, now the side kick back kick or fast kick back kick or fast back kick uh, technique here is gonna be very similar to the fast double kick, to the roundhouse kick except you're gonna turn your body in the opposite direction. So I'll start it this way here. We'll do this uh, part one, skip knee pitch here. Then as I go and skip to the next one, the, the roundhouse kick, I turn to my right side using the rear leg for the roundhouse kick. Well, I'm gonna use the rear leg again, but now I gotta turn the other way for my back kick. Like that. <clears throat> Watch again. And Hana, do. And I would execute the back kick there. Now again, we're not executing any kicks, we're just working on knee pitches, but also getting our feet up high enough as well. I can do knee, and a lot of people make the mistake of knee pitching a lot, uh, if we're just doing knee pitches for drilling, let's say line drills and we're, we're knee pitching. They pick their knees up, but maybe their feet are in the wrong spot or they pick their foot up, but they're not necessarily knee pitching. You wanna make sure your knee and your foot are coming up high enough. You're bringing them up high enough off of the floor. So if you watch me here again, boom, boom. I make sure, I kinda of hold that stance there a little bit. I make sure that I really get my knee up in a nice chamber position for the back kick, but I'm also getting my foot up high enough so that way if I were to kick and extend the leg out, I would hit a scoring area. So a little quicker. Huh, huh. There's Hana. Huh, huh. And dual. One more. Huh, huh. And set. Okay, now I'll do one set of the drills with you guys after watching the video there and seeing the explanation. And we'll, I'll do one with each um, each kick. So we'll do the fast kick, fast double kick, and then the the side kick, back kick, or fast back kick. I'll do the first one with you and then I want you to do, you'll pause the video here and then you'll do two uh, sets on your own. So we'll do a uh, right side and a left side. I'll do that with you. So on video, I'm going to do six of those with you. Right side, left side, fast kick, right side, left leg, uh, right side, left side, fast double, and then right side, left side, side kick, back kick. And after the first one, I want you to pause the video and then you finish out the next two sets of each leg on your own. Take a little break in between. If you guys have partners or if you got somebody else with you, a good thing to do is let them do a set. If you're going to kick in the air, if you're going to kick on the paddle or you're going to kick on the bag, let them do a set and then you do a set. Let them do a set and you do a set. So let's start out with the fast kick. Right leg in front for me, you can start with your left leg in front. All you're going to do is skip forward and then land back down. I'm going to move forward towards the camera. Huh. Do, set, net. So there we go. I got to five, or to four actually. Dasa, yasa, you go, you do. Back it up. I hope yo Pakwa Hana Duel. <clears throat> We're on the left side now. Set net dial suck. Yeah suck. You go, you do. I hope yo. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the fast double. And again, what I want you to do is really focus on just knee pitching, getting those knees up. Lean the body back a little bit. You wanna lean the shoulders back so that it kind of helps hip, get your hips in a proper placement to execute the kick. Cause you don't want it to be, you don't want your body too straight up, 
because then your hips stay too linear. You need them to angle so that your kicks can go up. If the hips stay too linear, then your kicks are gonna stay pretty low. And it's gonna be hard to execute a kick to the proper area of the body. If we're doing leg kicks, that's something different. <clears throat> okay, so fast double. If you need to hold and pause right here for a little bit to make sure you have enough leverage and strength to jump and switch over, go ahead and do that. But for those of us that already know this kick, we'll get right into, or know this, this drill of, for the knee pitch, we'll get right into the drill. And Hana, this one you can just back right up. Huh, huh, duel. Huh, huh, set. Now you don't want to jump too high. You want to just try to shoot your body up. Huh, huh, net. So that you get a fast execution of the knee pitches. Huh, huh, das up. Yasa. Huh, huh, you go. Huh, huh, you do. Now, for the sake of time, I'm only gonna do eight on this one, so that way it doesn't make the video too long. Again, you get to your 10, you can pause the video and then finish on both sides. We'll go eight on the other side here, or you can do eight with me if you want, and then 10 on your next sides. And, Huh, huh. Dual, huh, huh. Set, huh, huh. Net, huh, huh. Das up, huh, huh. Yasa, huh, huh. You go. You do. Put Show. Okay, so now the side kick back kick or fast back kick, as we're gonna call it in this uh, series here of kicks. So it's the same concept. I'm gonna do it straightforward. In the in the other demonstration, I did it sideways so you can see the. Uh, the execution of the kick better, but straight forward towards the camera here. Fast kick, skip, um, initial movement here. Boom, and then a jump switch for that back kick. So again, we're not kicking. I kind of did a small little, little kick there just to show you how you could execute the back kick. Right now, we're just gonna work on the two skipping motions, okay? So again, I'm only gonna do eight on each side in this one because it's a double movement here and for the sake of time on the video, you can do the first set with me again and then pause the video and then finish your next sets. Okay, ready? And Hana, hup, hup. And dual, hup, hup. Let me take my glasses off before they fly off on me. <laughs> set, hup. Net, huh, huh. Das up, huh, huh. Das up, huh, huh. You go, huh, huh. You do, huh, huh. And switch the feet. Other side. Here we go. And Hana. Huh, huh. Dual. Huh, huh. Set. Huh, huh. Net. Huh, huh. Das up. Huh, huh. Yes, up. Huh, huh. You go. Huh, huh. You do. Huh, huh. And put her. Huh. Show. Okay, so now getting into the kick. So if you have something that you can kick, or if you got somebody that can hold a paddle for you, or if you have a bag, or if, even if you're just going to kick in the air. So what I'm trying to do here when I execute and practice my fast kicks is 
I'm trying to snap and be very, very quick and light. I don't want to jump up high. I don't want to crouch too low and start too low. That's going to make me have to come up a little bit. I want my posture good. I don't want to be leaned or bent over too, too much. It's okay if I'm doing that a little bit here. I can transition from this to my kick pretty easily without telegraphing too much, okay? But that comes with practice over and over and over and over. So for the basics of it, what you want to do is just really keep it nice and light. Hup. Good, nice little snap. Hup. Don't want to jump too high and I don't want to cover too much distance. So you're going to do a set of 10 on the right leg and set of 10 on the left leg. Then after that, we're going to, um, I'm going to go through all the other kicks here and then we're going to do uh, the combinations. Fast double kick, you can execute this a couple of different ways with actual kicks, like we would do in our form. Or you could do it a little bit and I want you to play around and, and figure out which one you like and feels more comfortable for you. With just the knee pitch, then a kick. See that one, I didn't kick the, fa the first kick, the fast kick, the, the um, original fast kick. I just do a skipping knee pitch, then the double kick. Watch me from here. So I'm using my knee pitch as possibly a jam if somebody's gonna kick or pick their front leg up right away, or as a little bit of a check fake motion. They think that leg is coming and then I turn and transition over to the double kick. Or I can do a full kick. So play around with both of those. Again, a set of 10 right leg, set of 10 on left leg. Now for the side back kick. Same thing here. Boom. Boom, full kick. I'm doing that a little slow just so you can see me extend the leg all the way up. Hup. Right. I can actually do a fast kick if I want to. Hup. Hup. And then execute the back kick. Or I can just knee pitch. It's really up to you. Hup. Hup. So for that one there. Hup. Hup. Oops. Right? Two sets of 10 on each one of those. Not two sets, one set of 10, each leg. Okay, so this part of the video here is more for the higher belt levels, your blue, reds, and blacks. Um, of course, anybody can try it out, but it's just, just know it's gonna be a little bit more advanced. So, execute fast kick into a side kick back kick. Or I'm sorry, not a fast kick. Oh a fast double kick into a side kick back kick. So I'm gonna show you the knee pitch position first and then we'll do the, the kick here. So fast double, one, two, land, then side kick back kick, one, two, land. Hopefully I didn't get too close to the camera and cut me off on that for you guys. Again, one, two, land, one, two, land. So we'll go through a set of this. And for this one here, just to have some fun, uh, you can do two sets of 10 on each leg if you want, or you can just do one set of 10 and rotate your legs, however you want to do it. It is technically four kicks in one drill. So watch me here. Trying to use as much distance as I can get here for you guys. You want to be able to try to transition over pretty easily and quickly without losing your balance, without overturning, without underturning, obviously, while all protecting your head and your face at the same time. Other side. So that would be your combination that you're going to do, which is your fast double kick into the side kick back kick. 